So let me picture you this. You want to buy something rather expensive in the game, but your credits are just not enough. You are making a good amount from playing in battles, but you don't seem to manage to save up enough or cut down your expenses in order to make that desirable purchase. This is because you don't fully understand the importance of equipment repairs and other details that make you lose money while you can avoid it. So today I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks to make you more economical and make your decisions smarter and more practical. Some of these are more obvious but are going to be explained with details and some are smarter and less common. This way you will be able to obtain the equipment of your dreams whether this is a weapon, a skin, vehicle or whatever you imagine. So let's get right into it. Disclaimer: Some of these you may find too much but I want to clear up that those apply only when you are in big need of credits in order to grind for the big purchase. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe and like the video because it will help out a lot. So now, let's get right into the video. Get ride-alongs. Throughout the battle, several allied vehicles will spawn and end up going empty of passengers to the next checkpoint. Especially in the start of the battle, too many people spawn vehicles for themselves and prefer not to ride with others. By waiting a few more seconds to spawn in one of these vehicles will save you money as you won't need to spawn your own and at the same time you're making the team a favor because especially in war battles, resources are important and each vehicle unit is crucial. Another way to save up considering transportation on the battlefield is to use unlocked enemy or even ally vehicles from bikes all the way up to tanks and airplanes. This brings your personal cost to absolute zero and your transportation is slowed down only by a few seconds needed for the unlock. This is great because vehicle repair costs can end up being rather expensive. A similar idea is to use enemy and ally picked up weapons. When killing an enemy you can use their weapon that most of the time is fully modded and an absolute killing machine. This way you get to not use your own weapon and thus your credits and at the same time you manage to use a fully built weapon for no cost. Speaking of weapons, it's a good idea to avoid weapons with large repair costs such as LMGs, snipers and assault rifles and prefer SMGs and starter rifles. If you are to use the first ones and you want to be more economical, you should bring as few attachments as possible or just some cheap ones. This brings me to the next step, attachments. Attachments can skyrocket the cost of your weapons. Especially scopes and springs can literally damage your in-game economy and make you go poor. If you want to know what precisely costs what, you should check this page that contains the cost of all the guns and vehicles in the game of each faction. If you want to take it to the extra mile, you can also check this sheet that lets you build your own weapon with particular attachments so you can see the cost of each build of guns. In order for all these tips to be able to work, you need to have your automatic repair cost payments after each battle ticked off. You simply go to each piece of equipment you have selected for the battle, click the leader wrench and tick off the repair after the battle. This allows you to decide whether and when to repair something or simply replace it with something else without having to repair it after not wanting to use it anymore. At the same category of tips is the no use or limited use of explosives and especially anti-tank weapons. For grenades all the way up to mines and bazookas, the cost of this kind of equipment can end up being pretty large. So my advice is to prefer kits for faster close quarter battle that explosives have no use in. Also, it is a good idea to avoid anti-tanking and leave the destruction of enemy armor to allied armor because after all anti-tanking is rather costly. Another tip is to avoid playing tanker and pilot during the period you're trying to save up. 
This is because generally, vehicles and especially heavy tanks and heavy airplanes are the most expensive thing in the game to spawn. Especially, some tanks and airplanes can cost up to 100,000 of credits to use and repair. Take advantage of the equipment depot. When you level up to a general, all his things will end up to an equipment depot. Make sure to manage the stuff correctly and split it to the soldiers that need it most. Don't make the mistake to buy something twice when you already have it in the depot. Use gold wisely. Gold can be overlooked when you can use it more efficiently than credits. Generally, gold is a better option for small repairs when you absolutely need the credits or in a bigger expenditure if you have a bunch laying around. Veteran membership can help you save money. Veteran membership is a large expenditure, especially if there aren't any sales, but in the long run can end up being a good investment helping you make more money than you spent or that you would make without it. No war. This might sound crazy, but war is an expensive hobby. If you are not good in playing war, this game mode can end up cost you more than you can make despite the money benefits that it offers. This is because it's a rather difficult game mode and it requires constant spawn of vehicles and expensive equipment in order to be competitive. Try not to buy skins. Buying skins for soldiers, weapons and vehicles is not a reasonable thing to do when trying to save up. It is more preferred to buy things that will help you progress in the game and not things that just elevate you visually. Another clever trick to keep in mind is to activate any kind of boosters some hours before the servers go down for maintenance and to make sure they don't run out before the shutdown. This way you will get refund in the booster and you won't have to buy a new one, therefore saving money. No need for repair before a battle ends. Let's say you have used a specific weapon in a battle. If you abandon this battle before it ends and therefore before the repair costs appear, you can use this nearly broken gun again in the next battle without having to repair it. This way you avoid the full repair that isn't allowing you to hop in a new battle and the only thing you lose is the attachment that breaks. This way you live to fight another battle with a weapon that technically doesn't need a full repair and therefore saving yourself some money. Take advantage of sales. Always look out for sales in the game. Sales happen often in the game for various pieces of equipment. This is a cheap way to save off some of the cost of the gun you really wanted but was too expensive to get in its regular price. This might sound cliché, but make sure to have fun while playing the game, nothing beats that. By doing that, not only are you going to make more credits, but also you will be able to save up more when focused on the game's general theory and adapting to it in order to make the most out of it on all its aspects. That's pretty much it for this video, hope you enjoyed and learned something in the process. Please make sure to subscribe and like if you want to and hope you have fun by applying the tips I shared. Until the next one, check some of my other videos and stay tuned for some nice things coming up soon.